Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Hey, I've been getting a lot of requests lately and uh, a lot of re remarks on my wet fly fishing video. And I always, like I said before, I grew up fishing wet flies. That's how I got started in the sport. And uh, it's very simple to tie. That was really what got me into tying wet flies. So today I'm going to go really back to basics. And I'm going to teach you probably the simplest wet fly there is. It's a uh, partridge, orange and partridge. It's very, very simple. All I'm using is size 6 orange thread and a size 14 hook. Um, 1560 Daiichi, size 14. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover the th cover the hook. I got a little loose there trying to show you the thread, so I'm going to go back over and just clean that up there a little bit. And what I'm going to do is just going to get a nice body built up on this. And we're just going to build the thread out of body. Like I said, this is pretty much the most simple beginner's wet fly you can tie. But when we're going to do this, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to start at the back and we're going to taper it forward. So I'm just going to keep building up here. I go up to the front and then I'm going to wrap it back a little bit. Not as far as I did the last time. And just keep building it up so I get like a, oh, I, I want to say a cigar, but not really. I want it fatter at the front than at the back. So there you can see I got a good taper to it. It's a little bit thicker up at the front and tapers back to the back. And then I'm just going to bring this up to the front of that. And that's the body on it. It's that simple. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a partridge feather. And uh, just take this off your partridge skin, or if you get a bag of mixed partridge feathers, you're just going to take that out, and we're just going to pull back the fibers. So you just get a couple on the end here. Like this. You just want a couple out, sticking out on the end, and you want to pull the rest back, just like that. And then we're going to tie that little tag down there. loose loop it and then we're gonna wrap it on here a little bit tighter and then we're gonna cut it a little tag off there put this in my hack well I'm gonna run my thread back up towards the front I'm gonna use my hackle pliers on this and I'm just gonna wrap this forward you don't want your hackle length to be much longer than the shank of your hook you don't want your hackles sticking back past the past the bend of the hook there and with each wrap I'm gonna pull the fibers backwards so I don't wrap fibers down and they continue to go backwards so I'm not trapping fibers just like that Okay, and finish this out. We're going to tie this off. Put a couple wraps around there just to get it good and tight. Trim that off. Now I'm going to take my fingers. I'm going to slide it back over. I'm going to pull all the fibers back. And I'm just going to wrap one or two wraps over top of the fibers there just to make sure they go in that backward fashion just like this and then I'm going to build up a, just a small head not a big one and we're going to whip finish it off and this is all that is to partridge and orange um, it's just a it's a great searching fly if you're swinging a team of wet flies um, just a nice one to have on there. It's an attractor fly, not really meant to imitate anything. I guess it, you could really use it in the sulfur hatch. I'm sure it would work real well in the sulfur hatch. Just more of a traditional old, old style wet fly. Um, all that's to it is thread and your partridge feather. Hope you enjoyed this, trying to get back to basics a little bit, keeping it real simple for you. And uh, remember, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, and we start posting stuff on Instagram now, too, if you like to check us out there. 
But any material you need to tie these, you can find them in our website, wholesingersflyshop.com. Thanks again for watching.